speaking of <clears throat> evolution, <laughs> the PlayStation 5 has evolved into a slim refresh. Um, so available this holiday season, so the PlayStation 5 console, um, Sony has redesigned. So it's now slimmer and there's two models. So both models have been redesigned. So this is basically replacing the existing PlayStation 5 models that you can find in retail. They can, they're basically being phased out. So you've got um, two slimline models, one with a disk drive, one digital edition. The biggest change is that, yes, they are smaller, but not drastically smaller. They still carry the same sort of like shape and look of the PS5. Um, but the big change is a modular design. And that means that the disk drive, the Blu-ray, 4K Blu-ray drive can be detached. Um, and also on the digital edition, you can buy one separately to attach it, which is kind of cool because a modular design for a console um, actually means it's more like a PC because, um, you know, if one component in your PC fails, let's say like you go, oh, I need to get a new storage drive you basically you know you take your existing drive out you put a new drive in i need a new gpu you take a gpu out put it in you need new memory you know with a ps5 you've got expanded storage but if the internal storage fails what do you do if the existing ps5 the disk drive fails what do you do it's the same with the xbox right you basically have to rma the the entire thing and to get a replacement um so this is kind of like cool that yes that you can take the disk drive off or buy one if you got the digital edition um but can you buy one time, from it, sony yeah so they're releasing them so basically now the ps5 uh keeps its existing price 499 with the disk drive um the full ps5 that's us price the digital edition is 449 and the disk drive on its own can be bought for 80 dollars so there isn't a huge price difference between the, the disc version and the digital edition, $50 US. Um, but also as well, like in regions outside of the US, um, Sony increased the price of the PS5 either this year or late last year, or I think it was earlier this year, by a notable amount. Like in Australia, it went up by like like a 50 bucks or almost even like $100 or $80 or something like that. Um, and they basically blamed that or not blamed it or they um you know said that that's because of the increase in manufacturing costs and, and things like that and, and distribution etc cetera, etc cetera. um so usually when sony had like when they released like a ps4 slim it was like tiny and they released it alongside a ps4 pro it was smaller and cheaper um they did the same with the ps3 and they did it with the ps2 the PS5 version is a little bit weird because yes, it's smaller, but it's not drastically smaller. And the modular design, mod, the modular design with the disk drive is cool. But the big thing here is that it's the same price, and the big thing for Sony is is that it's cheaper for them to produce. So they've got like um, more like cheaper components in there, and I don't mean cheaper as in quality wise. It's just they've there's like a cheaper way to make for them, for Sony to make a PlayStation 5 at the same power and same, pretty much the same thing, but just like using um, less expensive components or more efficient components and they can shrink the size a little bit. So this is like, to me, it kind of feels like more like they're getting this slim line model out um, sooner because because they, they want to make more money off each PS5 console. Yeah, and the PlayStation 5 has been... Uh, selling like gangbusters really what was that sorry it's been selling really well like it's you know it's like it's on it's matching the ps4 in terms of adoption really even with covid yep i thought this this generation would um be a little longer than previous generations because we obviously had um covid and the pandemic um throughout the launch of the ps5 let me have a look up. Hasn't it only done about 50 million units? And the new Xbox has done 25? Yeah, I think it's like, I think it's like, like 30 to 60 now, something like that. Okay. Perhaps but, it's being adopted 50, really quickly. Yeah. yeah, I think it's like it's it's growing faster and... Because I knew, I know that when it came out, 
you yeah. could you couldn't get it like at least in australia you could not get a ps5 when it came out oh yeah so like in its first 30 months the ps5 sold 13.96 million units ps4 sold 13.68 so i think it's like it's on track with it or something okay like all right yeah or maybe even that that's not like lifetime or that's maybe in just the last 13 months but the thing is like once ps4 hit its stride like it you know like it's one of the most popular consoles like it's well over 100 i like the look of this I, th- I i think it looks sick yeah it's like small like i mean i've got a ps5 like my only issue with it is that it's huge yeah and it's hard to sit on its side and now like the vertical stand is like sold separately it's like a metallic vertical stand so they've kind of like cut that out can't you just get a vertical stand off like amazon or whatever yeah, yeah, probably. But then, like, you know, it has to, like, clip in so the official one will probably be better than the unofficial ones and then they can charge you 40 bucks for a little piece of yeah. metal or plastic. It's a very Apple move. <laughs> it's like when their wheels yeah. cost, like, 200 bucks. I mean, yeah, like, it's interesting. Like, I mean, this is, like, now the PS5s that'll probably be um, here for a while. There's a rumor that there's a PS5 Pro coming next year, like, which seems really soon because, like you said, like, because of COVID, like this generation seems like it's going to go longer. Um, Xbox said they're not going to release a like you know a pro version console, or there's no current plans. You know, part of the leak which we discussed a while back was like you know that cylindrical. Xbox oh, the X circle X redesign. Yeah, yeah, the X circle. The X tube. <laughs> that sounds the like X something. Tube. That sounds like something else cylinder. entirely. Mm. So like yeah, so like that's like coming next year, and like but Sony's is getting theirs out now. And I think like the, like both things are like to they're like refreshes to keep their production costs down. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. But so we'll you see, don't like, think you, know, you don't think we'll see a PS5 Pro next year or? Oh, there is like um, rumors around it, and we've got a story I think that just went up from Anthony that covered like some of the specs that have been rumored for it. Um, but basically, the the existing rumor is that like the GPU, the GPU will be massively overhauled for uh, ray tracing, um, at, uh, as well as like better 4K performance. Um, but also that the CPU is getting overhauled, and that it's going to be a much bigger redesign than the PS4 Pro. So like the PS4 Pro when that came out, um, so like Xbox and did their One X and PlayStation did the PS4 Pro. One of the reasons they did that was because the the new generation of consoles was still a few years away, um, but at that point in like 2017, or it was 4K TVs were becoming the normal, right? So you had OLEDs and Samsung QLED TVs, and like people like you know the shift to 4K TVs or was happening. So Microsoft released like the One X, which was like you know it had a brand new CPU and like a supercharged GPU in there, and it was like 4K, so. I mean, even like with upscaling or whatever, like you could play 4K Blu-rays, you could, it was a 4K console. And Sony did the same thing with the PS4 Pro. Um, But the way Sony did theirs was that the CPU was unchanged and they basically just slapped like a second GPU in there. So it's basically just had um, like almost like double the GPU power of the PS4, um, but with like similar CPU architecture. So it was just a way for them to just kind of like hit the 4K. And so with the PS5 Pro, there's like a lot of rumor out there that, but like the the main rumor is that Sony are going to go all out with it. They're going to supercharge the CPU as well as the GPU. And with this new, the new slim PS5s, bringing back to this story, like the price not changing, like this just means that if there's a PS5 Pro, it's going to be so expensive. It's going to be re- like it's going to be really expensive. I'm just going to wait until the PS5 Pro. Yeah, because when they launched the PS4 Pro, they lowered the price of the PS4 with the PS4 Slim, and then the PS4 Pro took over like the original launch price of the PS4 oh. as the Pro model. Huh. So, and that's how they kind of restructured it. Whereas, like the price isn't changing for the PS5, and probably won't change for another. Um, couple of years or whatever the case is so like if they launch a 5 pro now or like next year it's going to be really expensive yeah how much do you think us 
I like I like like if if the PS4 is now four ninety nine, seven like ninety nine. Yeah, I, that's what I think that they're going to be targeting. Like they won't won't be any lower than six ninety nine. Yeah, I can't. They they can't. If yeah. if it's going to go beefy, six ninety nine sounds nice, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was that hundred dollars more. Yeah. yeah. So that means it would make it about like what Australian? That would be what eleven hundred. 11 10 99 oh yeah you're, you're crossing well into like 1200 bucks for a console in australia yeah that was like the that was like the ps3 when it came out yeah um, i know yeah that, that was the that was how much was that when that came out that, oh, that was yeah. expensive and i remember you oh, couldn't get so one tough. of those either The first generation PS3, the original one, the one that said what? PlayStation 3 in silver across the top. Oh, I, like because it, oh, oh, it was, when it was sitting, I think, yeah, yeah, across the top, yeah. Oh, it was 700 bucks, I think that's what this is. Australian or US? Yeah. Actually, no. Oh, yeah, 999 Australian. Yeah, 1000 bucks Australian. That's like back in like 2007. So we're just for inflation. <laughs> yeah, just for like inflation. Like, yeah, like that's way more. That's like spending like 1500 to two grand on a console now. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm excited for it. I don't own a PlayStation 5, but I will be picking up the Pro so I can get onto all of those exclusive um, titles over there on PlayStation. This design for the ps6 looks i must say ridiculous um i agree with anthony i don't think sony is going to go with this design <laughs> it is, oh yeah that ps6 design yeah it looks um again it looks, looks kind of like stupid. what i would build if you yeah. gave me the components looks like an ai generated like make me the most sci-fi looking console yeah it's like i asked dali 3 I'm like, hey, yeah. can you make Sony's next gen console and then I can 3D print it? And that's what it spat out. Mm. <laughs> <laughs>